Hi, friend. Dear friend, I decided to write you this proposal in good faith, believing that you will not betray me. I have been in search of someone with the same last name of our late customer and close friend of mine, Mr. Mr. Richard. Richard. Hence, I contacted you because both of you bear the same surname and, coincidentally, from the same country. And I was pushed to contact you and see how best we can assist each other. Meanwhile, I am Mr. Maxwell Asher, a reputable banker here in Accra, Ghana. On the 15th January 2009, the young millionaire, Mr. Mr. Richard, a citizen of your country and crude oil dealer, made a fixed deposit with my bank for 60 calendar months, valued at US $6,500,000 US dollars. And the mature date for this deposit contract was on the 15th of January, 2016. But sadly, he was among the death victims in the 03 March 2011 earthquake disaster in Japan that killed over 20,000 people, including him. Because he was in Japan on a business trip, and that was how he met his end. My bank management is yet to know about his death, but I knew about it because he was my friend. And I am his accountant relationship officer. And he did not mention any next of kin forward slash heir when the account was open. Because he was not married. And no children. Last week, my bank management reminded me again requested that Mr. Mr. Richard Richard. should give instructions on what to do about his funds, if to renew the contract or not. I know this will happen, and that is why I have been looking for a means to handle the situation. Because if my bank directors happens to know that he is dead and do not have any heir. They will take the funds for their personal use. So I don't want such to happen. That is why I am seeking your cooperation to present you as the next of kin forward slash heir to the account since you bear the same last name with the deceased customer. There is no risk involved. The transaction will be executed under a legitimate arrangement that will protect you from any breach of law, okay? So, it's better that we claim the money than allowing the bank directors to take it. They are rich already. I am not a greedy person, so I am suggesting we share the funds in this ratio. 50% 50, i.e. equal. Let me know your mind on this, and please do treat this information highly confidential. 
I will review further information to you as soon as I receive your positive response. Have a nice day, and I anticipating your communication. With regards, Maxwell Ashen.